is, that was the Shaking Stevens cover of This Old House. Got a classic three chord song in the key of B flat. So we've got the root, B flat, the fourth, E flat, which I'm playing as a ninth chord, E flat nine. So I'm playing six on A and five on D and six, six, six. Move that up two frets and you've got the F nine. Okay, so I'm playing, and on the intro, I didn't play this on the playthrough, but you'll hear that, that B flat to G, so adding that sixth note. Okay, and I put that in on the verses as well, so. So just on the verses, sometimes play. Just add that little extra note. It's kind of optional, but. Classic rock and roll there. And then on the E flat nine chord, just add in the little finger, if you want, on eight. Again, gives you that, that six note, or 13. And you can do that on the F9 too, add that. So it's just playing about really. So we've got B flat on the verse. This old house, da, 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 this old house. E flat, F. B flat, B flat, E flat, F, then just that little run down F, E flat, D, C, 8, 6, 5 on A, 8 on E, B flat chord. Okay, take you to the chorus E flat 9, B flat. So again, I'm playing all these chords as nine, the E flat and Fs. B flat. E flat, nine. B flat. F down. Getting that run down back into there, okay. The guitar solo is also played over the chorus chords. I'm just leading into it with that played over a B flat, B flat and G. Just six and eight on the E and B strings. And then. Basically playing an E flat nine chord here. So this solo is really based around chords rather than scales. So I'm playing finger style. So. So. Use my thumb on the bottom string. My three fingers on the top three strings. So I'm sliding to an E5 11 of the E string and then playing an F on 13 on the high E string. And then we've got a B flat on 11 on the B string. Then we're adding the seventh note and the third note of the chord, D flat and G. 14 and 12 on the B and G strings. So we've got, then the first two notes are going, F and B flat. So we've got basically that over, over that note. Then go to B flat, I'm just play B flat on six and then And then playing, kind of optional to stick this note in. It's kind of nice. So, so you could put that. You could play six and then add a D if you want on seven on the G string. And then, but the main two notes are that B flat and G on six and eight on the E and B strings. Yeah, and then then go to an F. Nine chord, then so just picking, picking these top two notes out like that on the top two strings on eight and eight, then playing da, ba, da, da, da. so t ten and eight there. On E and B, and down to nine, 
eight and eight. So, yeah. So just that nice little chromatic top notes on that F9 chord. And then we've got, I'm playing So this is what I'm playing here. Now, I'm not sure if this is how it's actually played. It could, could be a lot of different ways of playing it. But what I did was, basically we've got a, we're going up a B flat six chord quite quickly. So I was playing um, open A. Sounds like there's a little quick leading note to that B flat. And then I'm playing B flat D F. So I play open one, five, and three. So quite a stretch there. So you could play. So you could play like that, or or just um, just like six, five, and three. Kind of. Find your own way that works best for you. But I quite like the sound of that. So you've got, all oh, this is hammer. So open one, five, and then this note. So that with my thumb, and then first finger to pick that F note on three. So, so we've got, then, just play open D, hammer to F on three, open G. So you got that kind of thing. And then I'm playing three, 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 F, B, flat, D. Or the D, G and B strings. Then moving that up to eight, seven, six. So B, flat, D, F. Same three strings. And then B flat, it's top note on six, then just playing a B flat six chord, so adding that little finger, so playing eight, seven, eight of the D, G and B strings, and moving that, that finger up one fret to A flat, to get B flat seven, and then basically playing what I played on the F9, but now down two frets. And then, playing that again, but adding an extra three notes. So instead of just stopping on, I'm going, so I'm playing like before, but then adding on top D, F, B flat. Okay, so seven, six, and six on the top three strings. Then coming down, adding that G note and that D. So that, that basically, so slowly you've got so it ended on eight and seven, and then. And then we, oh yeah. So I've just been a little hammer. So to F. So open to one. And then so F E flat C one four one. Then A flat. C, G, F, C. So it's four on E, one on B, three, one, one. So, so you got, yeah. And then got going double stops, we're playing 10 and 10, and 8 and 8, so F and A, e, um, then we've got E flat and G, D and F on 7 and 6, 
two frets down, C and E flat on five and four. Then back to that B flat. Okay, and you'll notice that also that that little section also you'll spot in a few of the parts of the song. Okay, so it's a great solo, love that. And next we'll take a look at the bass part. So for the bass part, I was basically ad-libbing kind of generic rock and roll patterns. So on the B flat, I was just playing either that, B flat, D, F, six, five, and eight, or something like that. Just going six, five, eight, five, eight. So we've got B flat, D, F, G, and B flat again. So it's a the E flat, you can say them again, and that or take the extra notes. Or the F, same kind of thing, just that pattern on eight, seven, and ten. And then duh, 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 duh. that's the kind of important bit is putting in. Leave this so basically. F, E flat, D, C, B, that, that walk down's really important. So, eight, six, five, eight, six. Into the chorus, E flat, B flat, F, B flat, E flat, B flat, F, ba, 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 ba and rock down. All right, so you can just have fun. It's just a classic three chord rock and roll song. So enjoy. And as always, buddies, thanks for watching. Cheers.